So I just got home from work and I have to make some cakes because we're having a neighborhood picnic on Saturday which is tomorrow because it is Friday and I promised that I'll make a few cakes for the cake walk so I will go down and do it <laughs> but I think it will be exciting. This is our first year in this neighborhood so it's the first year that we will be at the picnic but talking to a few in the neighbors, they've already done this last year and the year before and they all seem to enjoy it. And this year we're doing it at the Imagination Station Park. It's like a giant playground and there's like a field over there and a pavilion. Now we're gonna play bingo and we're gonna do the cakewalk and cornhole and eat. It will be lots of fun. So. So earlier this week, I went to drop a lot of the um, surprises, a lot of the gifts or rewards for the bingo and the games because they because they um, asked us all to look around our houses and things and see if we have anything we didn't want or need or you know how you always get a couple of presents that you're like, ah, so you would just hand them to somebody else. Here, let me just re-give this to you. Yeah, so I went to drop that off at one of our neighbor's houses. Her name is Pat. She's amazing. She's elderly, but she's amazing. I love her so much. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, while I was over there, I was helping her wrap them. I'm not entirely sure why we wrapped them, but maybe to keep it a surprise. But we did wrap them, but we did also write on it if it's an adult gift or a child's gift or girls or boys or stuff like that. I think it will be fun. It did give us something to do and we realized that we had a lot of kids gifts and a lot of women's gifts but we didn't necessarily have a lot of men's gifts. But then again, what do men want? Honestly, what do they want? Like for, for women it's so easy. You just give them like lotion or candles or you know sweets or clothes or jewelry and they're just fine. But men are so difficult for the holidays and their birthdays and things. So, we kind of looked around and we didn't really find much. So we made a few fruit baskets. A few cute little fruit baskets. So I went to drop those off yesterday. No, the day before yesterday I went to drop that off for her. But both times I've been there we just sat there and chatted for a couple of good hours and we had so much fun. But. It's time to go bake some cakes. <laughs> I'll show you the cakes and I'll find some pictures of the fruit and maybe of the presents or whatnot. I will, honestly, I will myself be about an hour late to the picnic because of work. But apparently a lot of people are going to be a little bit late. You got to make a living somehow, right? So, you might not be able to see, I might not be able to film or get anybody else to film like the beginning of that but I will definitely get some footage of the picnic of the neighborhood picnic when I get there it will be so much fun but let's go make some cake <laughs> So, I'm making, as I said before, I'm making cupcakes and cakes and cookies and different things for the cake walk tomorrow at our neighborhood picnic. But it actually took quite fast because it's 90 degrees over here. It's almost 8. It's like 7.45 at night right now. And it's still like 90 degrees there. So the butter got to room temperature and softened up very quickly. So I was able to whip up a lot of things very quickly. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit. There are some cakes over here. And these are cranberry oatmeal cookies that are about to go in the oven. These are the chocolate chip cookies. And these are the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And these are the oatmeal raisin cookies and the cupcakes just came out. 
And the way I did the cupcakes is I just do, because there's yellow cake here, there's white cake, and there's the chocolate cake. I just stole a little bit from each of the batter and made four of it. Because I figured it wouldn't really matter since they're going by themselves as individuals or two cupcakes, one or two cupcakes in a box. So I thought it wouldn't really matter if we can mix and match or, you know, <laughs> it'll be fun. But, you know, I always say... If you don't make a mess in the kitchen and get dirty, you're not having fun and you ain't doing it right. So, yeah, I had to get the floor dirty. Look at my beautiful mess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my beautiful mess. <laughs> so these are because I like to put, when you measure, like, the salt and cinnamon and vanilla like shards and all that, I like to put them in little shot glasses or little balls like that because it makes it a lot easier to pre-measure everything and then just put it all in and mix it all up whip it in one of the pans wa wash the dishes real quick prepare everything else while the dishes dry stick something in the oven which I'm about to stick the cranberry cookies in the oven but I will I promise I will get some of my recipes online to you guys soon and I'll show you how I made some of the stuff because like my oatmeal cookies, there's oatmeal cranberry, oatmeal chocolate chip, and oatmeal raisin. The oatmeal raisin and oatmeal chocolate chip, no, the oatmeal cranberry and oatmeal raisin are actually f good for like diabetic people. And they don't have, none of the sh stuff has a lot of sugar in it because if you know me then you know I like to make everything from scratch. Unless I really are out of time and I make it out of a box, but this is pretty much all out from scratch. So, <laughs> yay! I'll get it online soon so you can see how I did it and you guys can do it too to make it healthy and however you want to do it. See you! I'm gonna butter the ice and sprinkle some of this stuff, so I'll show you that in a moment. See you later! Okay, well, so I'm done with the cake part of the list. Yeah. Let me show you some of them. There's one of them, just a simple yellow cake with chocolate icing. This one, I don't really like the way this one came, honestly. I thought that one would come out a little better, but it is what it is. They can't all be nice, right? There's cupcakes. Cupcakes. Here are some of the single cupcakes. There's two big boxes there. One of them has the poober and one of them has a mushroom cake. So I'll show you those in a minute. But pretty much all what I have left to do is bag the cookies up, take the trash out, finish washing dishes, and clean the sprinkle mess up. Seems like the dishes are never ending when you do this kind of thing, doesn't it? Let me pee, let me get the mushroom and pooper cake and I'll show you in just a sec. So there's the Winnie the Pooh cake. I thought I did pretty well on it. I even gave him some honey in his hand, but I thought I did pretty good. This is my first time making the pooper cake, so I think I did pretty good for it. The shirt, if you know Winnie the Pooh, the shirt should be a little brighter, but... It is what it is. I even managed to spill honey on it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the mark. So there's the mushroom cake. Classic black bottom, red top, white sprinkled polka dots. Yeah, there's sprinkles in red and sprinkles in black on there too. We like sprinkles. So I had one cupcake left over. So I'm kind of just like... Might as well eat it, right? I mean, it's left over and nobody else is gonna eat it. The rest of them are going for the charity cake walk, right? <laughs> so, I labeled all of them on sticky notes so people would know what they're getting. That way if you don't like something, you can get something else. But, yeah. And the reason why I put tape at the bottom is because I don't know how it's, how it's gonna be tomorrow. It's supposed to be hot tomorrow. But I just don't want the labels to fall off, so I put a little bit of tape on them. 
so now I get to go find room in the outside refrigerator for all of them until the morning. And the reason why I'm not talking as loud to you guys is because it's actually quite late over here right now. It's past 11 at night. And I'm still packing cookies and cakes. It better be worth it because I have to wake up early tomorrow morning so I can take a shower and, go to, and make my face, you know. And then go to shower, go shower, make my face and hair, go to work, and get all the stuff over there. Well, we're trying to decide if I should take it and put it into my work refrigerator and take it from there, or if somebody else is going to come pick them up tomorrow. Well, I'm at work. We'll see. But now I gotta go find room for it. <laughs> I did it. The three single cupcakes are over there. The two four pack cupcakes are over there. The small two small cakes are over there. There's one in the back, and the two big cakes are down there. My mom always teases me when I'm like this, because I love to cook and I love to bake. But it's been a while since I baked this much like that, because in Colorado it's been about a year and a half. Because. In Colorado, I had a side business, and I would sell like my big goods like that, but also like our canned goods, like our pickling stuff and the jams we would sell, or like we would juice fruit and we would sell that as well in jars, and my candy and my chocolate. So I had quite a bit of a side business in Colorado. But over here, I haven't really picked it up yet. So maybe I should, and I actually really enjoy doing this. I don't. So yay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Took long enough. It's past midnight. I have to be up at seven. But I'm done. So. The little bow things. I think are so fun and the day one of the days that I went to chat with Pat and to pack presents with Pat I actually saw her doing it in one of the baskets and I was like you gotta show me how to do that because that looks so fun so I've been practicing I think that that look bad um I will say though if you are doing those bows I did find that some material while I was experimenting practicing some material ribbon material is not as nice or easy to do that way but yeah so i'm gonna put the cookies in the refrigerator they don't necessarily need to be but it's been so hot here that i think it will be safest there especially with the chocolate chip one and then i'm just going to you know finish the dishes and i'm gonna go to sleep so i promise i'll take you to the neighborhood picnic tomorrow but for now i'm going to say good night good night hey guys so i'm home right now i know i promised that i will take you guys to the picnic today but i didn't go myself because i finished work at three and the picnic was supposed to be from two to six but I finished work at three and I was on my way there and my parents called me to say just come home because they the place double booked so they had to live which I find kind of crappy because if you double book someone for your place that's your problem why how can you tell somebody to like pack their party or whatnot up and live because somebody else is coming I don't know it's kind of frustrating and confusing. So anyway, I'm home. But I didn't take any of the cakes this morning because my parents took them with them over there because I was going to be late. But they were all gone. Yay! They all got one. Hooray! And all the cookies are gone too. <laughs> but Geffen won a cake she brought like it's called a watermelon cake i don't know if it actually tastes like watermelon i haven't actually ate it but she did 
and they want some brownies and I had a brownie and that is a really good or not sweet at all so thank you to Miss Tina for the watermelon cake and thank you for Miss Jackie for making the brownie <laughs> yeah so I'm kind of upset because I promised that I would take you over there and I was actually really looking forward to it myself but it didn't work out so I'm sorry guys but yeah, so they started at 2 and they had to finish at like 3.30 instead of 6. So I don't understand how they can double book like that and tell somebody to leave, but it's okay. It wasn't meant to be, so it's okay. We'll have another government, right? So they played a good, so they played a few games over there from what I understood. They played a cake walk where they won some cake and they played a few other games. They didn't play the bingo. So all the lotions and candles and things that I told you that I wrapped the other day with Miss Pat, they're actually going to stay at Miss Pat's house until we can all get together again in a couple months. Hopefully in a couple of months. I hope it will be in a couple of weeks, but who knows. We might have to wait a little longer. <laughs> but, yeah. But all the like food-wise, like all the cakes that everybody made and all the fruit baskets that we made, they were all one. So they agreed that all the food items should be one as prices. And the other things can wait. And I agree, because the food would go bad. So might as well enjoy it now while well, you can, right? So I hope everybody who went, who did go for that hour, hour and a half to the neighborhood picnic had a wonderful, wonderful time. See ya! So there's the brownie. So those were the brownies, but here's the watermelon cake. My sister had a bite, hopefully she liked it. My mom, myself. My mom, myself, and my dad had the brownies, and they were delicious. So I really do hope that everybody who went had a wonderful time, and I hope we can get together soon and take you all with us. So that's it for the neighborhood picnic. I'm sorry we missed out, guys, but it is what it is. It wasn't meant to be. We'll get together some other time, but I'm glad that the neighbors are going to be able to enjoy my baked goods and that we can trade off a little bit on Triceratops, right? See you later. Until next time.